when you look at the class and talent tree reworks in the war within alpha druids monks paladins and warriors as you guys can see there is a picture of all the celestials there is a picture of all the celestials so this means that this is heavily focused for fucking monk this is big man this is very big let's dive into it man let's take a look um, so this is all Mistweaver stuff. We're not going to care about the Mistweaver stuff, but you guys can see right here, they're changing, um, they're changing the, wait, oh, no, this is the, pre this is previous. So this is previous. This is what our tree looks like right now for Windwalker. And this is what it's going to be. So you can see they shifted away from Bone Dust Brew. Um, I think they're changing this, the Skyreach effect. So it's no longer going to be a dash anymore. So we're gonna I want to read through everything with you guys. Okay, so people are under the misconception that this talent here Momentum boost fist of fury damage increased by 100% of your haste and fist of fury does 10% more damage each time it deals damage That's actually big guys. So your fist each tick will do 10% more damage. That's kind of fat. Let's be honest. That's pretty fat. So um, Your auto attack speed is increased by 60% after eight seconds. So this is gonna tie in really well with thunder fist You're gonna get a lot of thunder fist off with this it says it replaces Touch of Karma, but apparently we do not lose Karma. That would be crazy if we lost Touch of Karma. So Acclamation, new talent. Rising Sun Kick increases the damage your target receives by 4% for 12 seconds. Target receives from you, so that's a 4% damage mod that your RSK puts up. Okay, Dual Threat, your auto attacks have a 20% chance to instead kick your target, dealing physical damage, increasing your damage by. So this is another damage modifier. So these two new talents alone, RSK applying a 4% damage increase and Dual Threat. A 5% damage increase on a 20% auto chance. So that's 9% damage increase. That replaces our open palm strike. So that's Fist of Fury damage and then the Chi refund from Fist. Um, Brawler's intensity. Cooldown of RSK is reduced by 1%. The damage of Blackout Kick is increased by 10. So more Blackout Kick damage modifier. Ooh. Okay, Ordered Elements during Storm with Fire. Rising Sun Kick reduces Chi cost by 1%. Okay, so RSK is going to give you a Chi modifier, essentially. It makes your Chi uh, abilities cost less Chi. Activating Ceph resets the remaining cooldown of RSK. So you want to RSK before your Ceph, and then you Ceph RSK again, probably. Do, 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 do. And RSK grants two Chi. So you're going to get an increased uh, amount of Chi when you enter your Ceph. So no more Spiritual Focus. That's getting rid of Spiritual Focus. Courageous Impulse. Blackout Kick effect also increases the damage your next black oh, wait the blackout kick effect also what is this bro i actually don't even know what this is takes lo a location of dance of chiji so it takes the location we're not losing dance of chiji though yes yeah, serenity is gone now serenity is trash anyway i fucking love serenity michael i'm actually kind of upset okay martial mixture the blackout kick damage increased by increases the damage of your next tiger pound by 10 percent stacking up to 12 times bro what the heck Blackout Kick increases the damage of your next Tiger Bomb. I wonder if this stacks off your images. Like, if, if your image... Blackout Kick stack this. But, like, how are you ever going to get this to 12 stack, bro? How are you ever going to get the, this to 12 stack? Like, you're not pressing 12 Blackout Kicks before you Tiger Bomb. That's just fried. Okay, that talent's like, whatever. You ain't playing that dog shit. Yeah, there's no way. If that's a talent choice, there's no way. Energy burst. When you consume Blackout Kick, you have a 100% chance to generate one Chi. Replaces Forbidden Technique. Okay, we don't play Forbidden Technique anyway in PvP. Rushing Jade Wind. This is this is actually one that I'm excited for. I'm not gonna lie. This like passively, this passively makes uh, your Strike of the Wind Lord cast Rushing Jade Wind. It's pretty cool. Simmons. Okay, when you Strike of the Wind, when you Strike of the Wind Lord, it applies Mark of the Crane to all enemies hit. And. Okay, so it, it applies Mark of the Crane, and then it procs a Rushing Jade Wind. So that's what your new freaking Strike of the Wind Lord is going to do. Ha <laughs> ha! That sounds insane. Yeah, this is going to be fun. I don't I don't know how good this will be in Arena, but this will definitely be really good in PvE. Just like any passive AoE damage is really good for PvE. One sec, I'll get to it. Se sequence Strikes. You have a 100% chance to gain Blackout Kick after consuming Dance of GG. 100%... Chance to gain Blackout Kick. Is this just like a free Blackout Kick or something? So, okay, Gale Force guys. Targets struck by Strike of the Windlord are sent reeling from its impact, causing them to become vulnerable due to your attacks for 10 seconds. Your abilities have a 100% chance to affect the target a second time at 10% effectiveness. 
Okay, so this is essentially just going to make your damage uh, replicated by 10%. That's cool. It's like um, it's like our current talent right now. What's it? It's like Glory of the Glory of Dawn that procs every time on all abilities. Okay. Communion with Wind, Strike of the Wind Lord's cooldown reduce, uh, reduced by 10, uh, 10 seconds and its damage increased by 20%. So I, I think we're going to be playing all like strike mods. That sounds really good. Strike of the Wind Lord mods. Where like Dragon Punch has 100% chance to activate Dance of GG. So does this, Dorito, are you here, man? Do you know if this gives you a Dance of GG proc or if it casts like a spin with Dance of GG on it? Just proc, okay. Makes sense. Okay, Knowledge of the Broken Temple. Whirling Dragon Punch grants four stacks of Teachings of the Monastery and increases its damage by 20%. Teachings of the Monastery can now stack up to eight times. Okay. What the fuck? That's actually pretty sick. That's actually pretty insane. So you're going to be perma... I mean... Let me see. Teachings of the Monastery. Tiger Palm cause your next... So you're basically going to have uh, unlimited Teachings of the Monastery uh, stacks. Eight machine gun. You're gonna have unlimited. You'll always be sitting on them, even though you kind of already are. But there's sometimes where you press and black a kick without it. Move town. So widening world removed. Serenity removed. No longer serenity gamers. So spiritual focus and drinking horn covers now choice node. Sky reach is removed. Does this mean we still have sky touch? GB, get me a chocolate extreme blizzard smell. You want anything from Dairy Queen, dude? I would love it. So we, we still have Sky Touch, but we lose Sky Reach. So no dash. Thank God that is fucking removed. It's, the thing is, we still have Kiefer's. We still have the Kiefer's effect, Nick, but we don't have the dash anymore. Okay, Bone Dust is gone. This is good. This is good. We do not, we are not Bone Dust gamers. Okay, so ma our mastery is getting buffed by 20% does 12% more damage. So this is nice, because Windwalker's skills are really bad. Spin buff by 20%. This is good for PvE. Crane Vortex increases damage by 15 to 30, so that's 5% buff on that, another 10%. Dance the GG. What does this even mean, bro? Rate uh, proc per minute. Reduced to... Okay, so less procs on Dance the GG, but that's gonna... We're gonna get those... We're gonna get uh, procs more often because of the talents that we're gonna be playing, but the proc rate is reduced. Blind Serpent Kick damage removed. This is really fucking nice, so you don't have to have a macro for this anymore. That's very nice. That's very, very nice. Will it still slow? Yeah, it will. Reducing movement speed by 70%. Uh, this is a really good change. This is really good. So you won't break your end caps and shit with Fly if you decide to cast it instead of cancel it. Hardened Souls now increases crit chance by 5% and crit damage by 10 for one talent point. Inner Peace now decreases energy cost of Tiger Bomb by 5. There's damage. Oh, wait, why? This is fucking dog shit talent. This is really bad talent. I found another way. When Walker gets Fell Rush off a of roll now, I know that's sick. I saw that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is the regular monk tree now, guys. We got the statues to replace, which is actually really fucking nice. Let's see what's here. Your height and reflexes allow you to react swiftly to the presence of enemies, causing you to quickly lunge at the nearest enemy in front of you. Oh, dude, what the heck? What the heck? That's actually insane. So it's like a locked on, like, fell rush, essentially. So your rolls, like, freaking. It, it's it's basically like Kiefer's. Yeah, it's basically like your, your Kiefer's off of a roll. Lighter than air roll. Oh, wait, no, this is a completely different thing. So that's. Is Briar W? Yeah. But. There's another talent here, too, if you don't want to be playing this one. So that's going to be lighter than air roll causes you to become lighter than air, allowing you to double jump to dash forward a short distance once within five seconds. So if you want to play something that doesn't lock you in and you want to just use it for mobility or like kiting or some shit, you can play this instead. What other talents do we have? Increases your physical damage done and avoidance by 4%. So this is a new talent that was replaced. Successfully interrupting an enemy reduces cooldown of pair and roll by five. That's cool. Porting snares targets within 10 yards by 70% for four seconds when cast so that's going to be like on your initial port i guess duration of snare effects is reduced on you by 20 percent i also saw that there was something uh where is it is it even in here range of disables increased by five yards the duration of crashing momentum is increased by four okay so this this right here guys Wind's Reach, this makes your slow an additional 20%. This is actually a massive buff. 
When Walker's gonna have an additional 20% on their fucking disable now. That's a huge buff. Uh, peace and Prosperity reduces the cooldown of Ring of Peace. Song Chi-Gi's cast time. I mean, we're never gonna play that. I don't, the only person that's gonna be playing this is Dorito. Roll removes a snare effect. So you can roll to remove slow every 30 seconds. This is a good talent. That's nice. Doesn't work with disable? What? Crashing momentum. What is what is crashing momentum? Is this from your flying serpent kick or something? Hey, with you, play. Oh, the Windwalker Copium finally paid off. Choice note with disable. Play Kinito Pet? No. I don't play different games. I'd rather self suck bang on myself. Okay, so nothing else is different here. Oh, wait, actually, I haven't looked at this yet. Okay, Flow Chi, you gain a bonus effect based on your current health above 90%. Movement speed increased by 5%. Between 90 to 35 damage take So flat 5% damage reduction. From 90 to 35% health. So that's nice. That's really nice. Below 35% health healing increased. Uh, received by 10%. So you have a 10% healing increase below 35. So that's going to be good. Okay, I haven't even looked at the Shadow Pan stuff yet. Dealing damage equal to 10% of your maximum health generates a flurry charge for every 400 energy you spend. Unleash all flurry charges. So this is like, this is like fast autos or something. You ended up saying like, th -th 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 -th, you know. Pride of Pandaria. So this is a choice node. Flurry strikes have an additional fifteen percent chance to critically, critically strike. Okay. High impact enemies who die within five seconds of being damaged by a flurry strike explode. So that's gonna be a mythic plus thing. Not gonna really see any play anywhere else. Veteran's Eye striking the same target five times within two seconds grants one percent haste. Okay, it's just haste buff. Okay, this is huge here right now. Um, your attacks, we have 10% base armor pen with this, which is really good. That's really, really good. That's going to help you against like warriors, paladins, and shit, because we suck into them right now. Your Vivify heals an additional 30% of its total value. Chi burst, Chi wave, and expel harm. Now heal for 20% of the damage dealt. Okay, these, these talents do no damage, though. So, unless like the big buffed chi burst that they've done like i think it's like 160 percent flat buff to chi burst I, I still feel like you're just gonna play the vivifies you sure you don't find something i would love something from dairy queen I, I would but you're too far away man you live in a fucking frozen state okay damage okay one versus many fist of fury damage increased by 10 percent damage dealt by fist of fury and keg smash counts as double towards fire charge generation okay that's cool Everything is built around flurry strikes in this talent tree. When you drop below 50%, summon whirling steel increases your parry chance and avoidance by 15% for 6 seconds. That's pretty big. That's really big. That's that's massive for um, PvE. When you dodge your parry and attack, reduce all damage by 10% for the next sec, uh, 6 seconds. Okay. Flurry strikes increase agility, stacking up to 20 times. Okay. Efficient training. Energy spenders deal an additional 15% damage. That's fat. What the hell? So your fist... Wait, no, that's... I'm stupid. That's only your fucking... That's only, like, your Tiger Bomb and shit. So you're... Okay. Black a kick, 20% crit damage. Increases the damage of your next set of flurry strikes by 10%. I feel like this is the. I feel like Shadow Pound is the tree that you're gonna be playing. Like just baseline. I don't know, it looks good, man. Everything looks good. Looks really good. Let's play some games now.